You shut your mouth. I mean, why not? Welcome to Three Dudes in a Cup. That's not it, is it? It could definitely work. Three Dudes in a Cup. It's a working title. Three Dudes in Three Cups. And drinking some beer. Alright, so. First beer. Wait, didn't you have some fact about. Where's your fact about. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Pilsner's is all about Pilsner's. 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 Tonight. Pilsner's. And I didn't know what a Pilsner is. I'm fairly new to beers. But uh, they're actually, they come from the Czech Republic. And I've been to the Czech Republic. However, I didn't drink at the time. So I feel like I really missed out because that's, that's, where, they, that's where they brew the Pilsner or Kale. Yeah. Which is the, like the one original one. Pilsner. And so they're, 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 right? yeah, they still brew to this day. Um, so I've had it since then. It's, it's a good Pilsner. I like it. Um, I think he's running the grabbing, but I thought that was an interesting fact that I'd actually been there, but not when I drank, so I missed out. Pilsner Urkel. Oh, one of the first or the like first? Pilsner. Yeah, I, th I think it said it was like the original Pilsner, because I don't know if Pilsner is specifically like a way that they brew it, or if it's just a, like the style that originated there, and, and obviously people have copied it. But Czech Republic. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this first one it's it's called Checked Your Head. Spelled like the Czech Republic from proper brewing. Looks pretty good. Cool. And then we get some beer. That card is a lot of tacos there. Delicious. Still burping on It's pretty good. Yeah, it's sloppy juice. Sloppy I don't know how good the sound is. We'll check that out too. Being the first when we're done. one. Yeah. yeah. No need. Killing it. No, no, no need to check it now before we do the whole show. We'll nope. We're winging it. The color's nice. Looks like pee. <laughs> Sorry, there's a little bit left. Nailed it. I felt like I was a little taller. All right. the same amount. Proper brewing. Tiff it. One pint. Let's see, 142 IBUs. 6% alcohol. Well, this one's one in a liquor store, huh? Oh, yeah. that's good. That's way good. So, I thought the IBUs kind of meant like a little bit of a scale of how bitter they are, because IBUs tend to be higher on the IBUs, yeah. right? And then like, lagers are a little bit lower. So, you said this one's 42 IBUs? So that might be that bitter. But it doesn't, to me it doesn't taste like anything like that. Like an IPA, like bitter at all. But I think IPAs are usually up there 70 IBUs. Maybe, maybe. I think a lot of them are like 50 and 60. But, uh, no, that's, it's, that's got a really light flavor to it. I don't know. Do you think there's a difference between the type of Pilsner glasses? So, purposely got Pilsner glasses, and that I think sort so. of more of what would you say? Would it? Yeah. Yeah, no, Ish. yeah, and yours is fat, maybe, much curvier. Maybe there's a difference. Yours is between. thick. Oh, like a you fight. got a thick glass. What'd you say? Is this a different type? Is it not Bill's Ring Oh, I don't know. We should look that up. I'd say blown out. So are these guys? These guys are good. This almost tastes kind of along the lines of like a like a Hefweizen a little bit, like where you put orange in it. Some of those beers that have like the coriander and like the spices a little. Kind of a citrus? Yeah. Something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's leaning towards it. Oh, hello. Uh, well, I think it kind of is a... That's what the Pilsner's are? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to start looking into how they're brewed differently. Oh my gosh, I say this stupid thing for stupid thing and stupid thing and... Oh, maybe it's under hobbies. It says it's brewed with, oh, yeah. with a traditional... Oh yeah! glass. I saved it under hobbies. Oh. It says it's brewed with a traditional cold lagering process. So it's more like a lager. Which I, I think, I don't know, but I think when I hear that people do the cold lagering, it tends to make like a crisper taste of more... More clean, more refreshing. No, yours actually looks more like the Pilsner. Well, it's kind of on this app, but uh, these guys. Pourmybeer.com. 
Pilsner, best for American lagers and Pilsner's Heffenweizens and Blondels, ideal for pell lagers with a lot of carbonation. So it's the, just a fluted style? Yeah. Oh, oh this is more like of a Weizen glass. Mm, that's that's lame. Yeah, I got the Pilsner glass for our Pilsner night. Oh, okay. Ah, knew it. Interesting. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Oh, that I bought check your head. Sure. I gotta get pictures of them afterwards. Yeah. I think that's the only one I don't have a picture of. No. Okay. Now, do we need to go rinse our glasses out before we pour the next one, or do we just say screw it because we're not really getting that scientific or technical? Oh, I think we just move forward. Okay, what are you want? We only got 20 minutes of studio oh, time, so. Mister. this one, just because it was close to me. That's usually how I pick beers, whatever's closest to the um, game. But maybe you should pick the next Well, one. maybe we'll save the original for last. Save the Pilsner okay. or Kill. Yeah, I'm talking about that. Kind of compare all the rest to that. Oh, uh, but you know how it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. delicious. Uh, delicious. Yeah, they're they're going to get better as we go, for sure. Uh, all right, do the one you picked? Because I haven't had that one either. Yeah, let's do that one. We've, I think we've all had that mold. I'll rinse it for, right? We've all had the mold. Which is, that one's excellent. I'm, I'm excited. I actually had one last night. Pretty good. And it was, it was really good. So Are you rinsing? I think it is. I did. Oh, what a snob. All right. So pretentious. We'll let you crack it and start with that one. What's this? The Beckerman's Brew American Pilsner. Also brewed by... Proper. proper. Oh, that's funny. These, these are, are both, the same brewery. These are both proper brewing. Where is proper brewing? Based out of Colorado. 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 Now Colorado has a lot of. No wait. Proper brewing Salt Lake. There's a lot. Proper brewing Salt Lake. Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah, it's, it's proper brewing company. Co. That's why we thought. Excuse me, I thought it was Ogden. Which one's Ogden? I don't know. Look, we're so wrong. We're out of Utah. We get good beer. <laughs> We actually do have lots of Utah beer. runs a ton of awards for beer. I actually like the American Pilsners. I've had a couple. So yeah, the proper brewing is based out of Salt Lake, which is cool. I don't know. A good thing you can edit the video. I didn't know that. Well, I'll we'll let half of this shit roll. And the first video should be a little funky. That one's definitely lighter. Yeah, yeah lighter. Yeah, yeah really lighter. Down the road, we'll definitely have to do some like, head to head testing. Yeah, like compare. Get like three glasses, same beer. That's, then we can compare colors and stuff too, which I know for some reason people care about. That's a lot of hate. This one's way more mellow. Do you want a little more? Oh, that's quite a bit lighter on flavor. That's more of like an easy drinking one, not as much flavor to it. Honestly, out of all of them though, I think it's my favorite loco. Lo loco. My favorite loco. Okay. Can't. I like the design of this. Logo? You know, that's yeah. kind of fun that the same the same company brews both of those, but they're both such distinct different pilsners. Like, oh, yeah. you know, different. like I think it would be like easy for a company to just brew basically the same thing, but like it's pretty distinct. Yeah, quite a bit of difference in it, because that one's yeah. This one's like a light. Boy, this is one you can pop open and have a bunch. Yeah, I could drink like a six pack of that. Mm -hmm. Especially in the summer heat. Yeah. What was this? Like this, this would be an excellent like, like quality garage beer. Oh yeah. Like, What's I mean, usually shit? garage beers are like crappier beers, but like, <clears throat> so like got, I could drink six of those while I'm working out in my garage and stuff. Oh, Twenty-seven okay. IBUs, four percent alcohol. So, so that that was that bitterness. It's yeah, dropped it's, with it's the like, twenty-seven IV. There, there's something I don't think that's exactly how it's measured. That's just always kind of how I've judged it because I've noticed the higher IBU ones tend to have more more of the bitterness, hmm. and the IPAs tend to get up there. But I don't know if that's specifically what that means. That's just always how I look at it because a lot of like the Hefweizens that have very little bitterness or like the wheat beers yeah. that are really mellow are like fifteen and twenty IBUs. Hey, that, so I don't. Anything like 35, it starts to get real funky. 32. Well, that one's 40 compared to 27. That's why this one's just that lighter flavor to it. And that one's higher alcohol. This one was 5. Point 
Like six percent. It's like a dinner. This one's, one's this one's six. So you can get that one in the grocery store here, right? That one was a grocery store. Because it's a four percent. So this one's only in the liquor stores here in Utah. But that one we can get in the grocery store. So that makes it even more appealing because you can just pick it up in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. The best part is Utah brewery, Utah brewery, Utah brewery, Utah brewery. Where is Carlsberg, Holland? Germany? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Germany, right? Don't know. Sounds like it. Because they do that. 42, 18, 3. Cause that Danish. Oh, well, no, that's what it is. Royal Danish Court. The Danish filter. I don't know. Danish. Just in I don't know. Really? No. Really? No. Okay. Uh, oh, we'll Google that shit. Uh, it doesn't say where it's brewed. You know, that's the nice part. You can put that little stuff in later, right? The little boxes on the screen the window. True. Yeah, if we figure out how to do fancy stuff. I bet this one's going to be closer to this guy. I bet this one, well, well this one, this one, and this one are going to be really similar. Really similar. I've had this one before. And my wife's beers, they're a little bit different than what everybody else says is a hell yeah. or they have something else going on. Everyone else that? A little bit. Yeah. Or they have a different flavor to them because their their I, amber's a little bit different too. I felt like their pilsner was pretty close to the last two we've had though. I don't know because I had I had one last night because I bought they had four pack of it and I was like oh I have one and then the other three. So that one does smell better though. Now it's hard to that one smells better. Differentiate. It just had like more smell to it. I thought. Seems it smells warmer. I don't know what that means, warmer, but... <laughs> my God, like, when you're sitting at home on your bed, naked, with Cheetos, <laughs> you're all cozy, cozy, Well, cozy. It's, it's, it's like when you describe, like, colors. Like, there's cool colors and there's warm colors. And it's not like those colors are literally warm or cool. Yeah. But like, a gray is, like, a cool color versus, like, an orange is, like, a warm color. This is it more, like, sensation than actual? Yeah, like, like there's, there's smells that are, like, it's like a warmer smell. Like, like daisies and honeydew would be, like, a warm smell. Versus like snow or like a glacier or like a stream would be like a cool smell. All right, I give that three. But honestly, Christmas time all maybe that's all bullshit. So warm. I don't know. Well, but yeah, those, those, those Christmas, yeah. but a lot of those Christmas smells are from baking, like baking yeah. cookies, like, so sugar, warm. like sugar cookies, like snickerdoodles, like a lot of those spices and herbs. Like you've got a lot of people will take all of those spices and herbs and like boil them in the pots to make your house smell good. It's like a warm smell. Oh, the cinnamon sticks yeah. and the, the clove and the oranges and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, maybe I that's got all, that. Maybe that's not stupid, but next, I think red rock. I'm not, I'm not fancy enough to really describe what I'm tasting in the beers. Using my cold bastard bottle popper, got with my cold bastard cooler. See if we can get some emotions. Oh, 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 oh. 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 And then it falls over. I think they get all excited about my cold bastard cooler. I love that thing. Yeah, I want to pick one up soon, but. Oh, we have some. That one's got a lot of carbonation to it. You know, I'm drinking all these beers and fitting in 20 minutes. Yeah. So it's not even like half a beer. Oh, you know what we should have done? We should have started a timer. Because we might be like 15 minutes into this. We don't even know. Could be. And, and what's going to happen is. We're just going to keep rambling because now we're getting a little bit buzzed and... We're only six minutes into it. Oh, we have six minutes left. It's yeah, we only got down. six minutes left and this is only our third beer. So I think we're gonna, we might have to stop after this one and what we'll if... put another memory card or something in. Yeah, I brought one. Ooh. This one's super Ooh. light, but it's kind of hazy. Like hey, less, Bodie! Less what? Filtered. Do you got your 32 gig card, buddy? Good sir? Uh, yeah, sure. Out of your camera, yeah, grab your... Is there anything on it? I mean, we won't wipe it. Thanks, sir. Well, this is like the hazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's less filtered. Oh, yeah, that's way hazy. I think I like a lot of the less filtered beers, though. I feel like you get a lot more flavor out of them. They're really like California for some reason. Oh, a lot of flavor. Oh, this one smells a little skunky. Too, like... I got the skunky smell, but the flavors... Yeah. I bet the IBUs are higher on this one than that last one, too. It doesn't list it, but. What is it? It doesn't have it. Yeah, we can put that in post credit. Like, yeah. So it's 5% alcohol. 
This is the Zwickle beer That's from Red name. Rock. Unfiltered German style pilsner. That's why it's. You yeah. thought it was unfiltered. I like it. I unfiltered. like unfiltered stuff. Oh, wait. A little bit more flavor. Yeah, I feel. I feel like it's got more flavor. This one's all the shit on the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's a good point on the unfiltered ones. It, it does well to swirl the bottle and kind of get any of the. Is there any this one? The stuff in the bottom. Nope. Don't do that. Uh, one of them actually says it on their beer, and I forgot who it was. Really? To, to that last mm -hmm. little bit? Yeah. So roll your beer on the side. Huh. Maybe it's some other beer that's while it, while it's still capped. No, actually, so you get down to a certain amount. Down the, the last so little, bit. little bit. It's just amazing. They're actually, like three different beers, all called Pilsner, and they're so different in flavor. It's awesome. Let's go to citrus too. Oh, well, this, this is from, yeah, this is from Salt Lake. You guys said that's interesting. Bedrock. They got good food. Watch where you park though, because they got little parking meters that if you don't read it just right, you'll end up with a ticket because the guy walks around and takes pictures of your cars. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's a yeah. fancy dinner that costs. Oh, I took you there. We had calamari. And I had the full. Oh, we don't need your battery. Well, yeah, but we need to check if there's anything like on this. Uh, oh, I didn't see anything. Who's going to be our camera boy and see how much time we have left? Oh, and the computer. We have four minutes. We have four minutes. We'll finish this beer. No, stop I'd it. Buy, I'd buy this one. We could also just pull everything off and just throw another one. We're new to this. Join the club. I'll finish on you. I'm under yeah, church. I'm in Michigan. You're my drag. Stop it. Pull it off. Yeah. I'd buy all three of these so far. Again. Like you and your shaggy hair. So Pilsner's been my go to lately. You. Yeah, I'm you're you're you were saying that you were. So what's your favorite so far out of the three? Okay, so, so far, um, Red Rock's got a lot of flavors. Got, I, I don't know. Like you said, it's that unfiltered, got a little more flavor to it, a little more, yeah. um, I don't know, like volume. But it's better, like maybe with food. If I was just going to drink just beer and have a good time, it'd be that one. I think that one's, I think that one's my favorite so far, because, yeah, like I think I would drink that just while I'm like out mowing grass. Like working on the yeah, art. Stuff like doing that. And I, and I also think well, a lot of what I judge beer on is whether Taryn would like it too. And I think she would like that one the best because this is kind of the lightest, like the easiest tasting, kind of smooth. Because I like to, like, we'll open a beer at dinner and we'll just share it. Um, Proper does those weird little post It has like a fruity flavor. Yeah, that one has more fruity flavor. It's sweet. No, I get just kind of sweet. Proper's got a little diagram on them that shows. Well, yeah, pretty, like the, the flavor profile. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to interpret that really though. Malty? No, it's like when you're shopping for brake pads. Performance telling a little bit of this, a little bit. It's never going to be everywhere. It's just going to be here. Yeah, you kind of got to pick your. Pick what you want for a top performance to be in. Well, you should watch the camera. Right it's not right back. It's right. to about a minute left and let us know. All right. I don't think you all want to mind. I, um, I, I, do, like I do tend to drink a lot more of my beers just out of the bottle. Let's just kill these two camera. beers and then we'll stop it and then we'll start rolling again. Okay. Looks good. So I wonder how much the flavor changes, like just straight out of the can versus you know pouring it in a nice glass. Because usually when I when I drink a couple of beers, I just drink them out of the can. I'm not fancy so pouring into the glass or anything like that. But Taryn won't drink them out of the can, so if we share them, we'll pour it in the glass. Two a little bit, though. If you drink one out of a glass, I feel like it can taste always better. It does. Did you get that? It opens it up for words? Yeah. It definitely does. I feel like just kind of aerating it as you pour it in opens up some of the flavor and makes it a little cleaner. But most of the time, I just don't usually care too much. It's good. Heels are delicious. They are super good. Go. Cool. Right. We're gonna stop it. Which button? The, the oh! Button. Oh no, it didn't stop. I thought it did on its own.